Welcome back everyone to another BB Openings. Today for you we are opening up some packs. We've got Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, Chilling Rain, and Shining Fates. I grabbed these out of some of the Pikachu and the Lucario collection boxes. So here are the code cards from those. Hoping to grab finally some alt arts from these sets. So let's hop into it and see what we can get. Let's start off with Chilling Rain. We have the least amount of those. And the most alt arts to grab from this set. Got the code card. And as far as sets in Sword and Shield go, most of these I actually like. I even like Chilling Rain. I know the pull rates are pretty bad, but it's got my Haunter. And it has some of the best looking alt arts, and it has so many too. Furfru, Drizzile Reverse, and a Walrhine. Alright, Chilling Rain, I talked you up. Show us the goods. I think I'm going to leave Shining Fates for last. Oh, we got something in here. Hopefully, it's a big hitter. Starting off with our Metal Energy. Flannery, Crabominable. We've got the Ralts, Heracross, Cast Form, Sphiel, Hatina, Spiral Energy. Oh, that looks like, ah, that's either an alt art or a full art. And it is the Alt Art Galarian Articuno V. We have pulled one of these before. It is the only Alt Art we have from this set. But this one is a lot nicer. I feel like the other one we have is pretty off-center. This one looks pretty good, actually. As far as which one we're going to send into grading, this one might be it. Let me check the back real quick. Yeah, it looks nice. Sleeve that guy right up. Man, these collection boxes have been bringing us the hits lately. We've been striking out on booster boxes, but we have definitely gotten some pretty good hits out of collection sets. Hopefully that stays with us as we go into the Pokemon Go set. Should be coming out in about, I think, two months? be the next special sets and celebrations and before that of course was shining fates let me know out of all the special sets from sword and shield which one has been your favorite i feel like i've actually had the best luck out of champion's path shining fates hasn't really been there and celebrations was pretty good we have the intellion v so two for two so far. Actually, no, two for three. Forgot there was that first Chilling Rain pack. Celebrations was nice, though, just because we got the complete set. It's one of the only sets we have in full. All right, nothing out of this one, so we'll go through it quickly just to see. We got the QFA, Impidim, Snob. Onyx, Pansy Reverse, and the Centiscorch non hollow rare. Nothing else. Always check just in case you get an error pack. Though I would like to see those Canadian error boxes. We definitely have not gotten any here. Seen those videos where they had like three alt arts in one box. Got the Jinx, the Mantine, the Grubbin, the Rotom, the Smeargle, Calabapus Reverse, and the Maractus. Ninetales, probably the best artwork, always. Actually, I think this set has a second Ninetales, and that artwork's a bit better. Code card for you. Oh, white code card, so we won't bother. 
because every single Shining Fates will have a hit code card. We are still missing the Charizard from that set. One of the few sets we don't have the Charizard in. Well, as far as newer sets go, we definitely don't have a base set Charizard sitting around anywhere here. Though I am looking into prices for more vintage stuff. There are some cheaper sets, but most of them you're looking at at least 200 a pack. So at most we'd ever be opening is like one pack. Persian Reverse, and we have an Absol non-holo rare. And nothing else behind it, though that Battle VIP Pass can be useful in deck building. Fusion Strike so far, just giving us a single V. And code card for you. We got something in the last pack. Hopefully it is a big hitter. Want to see one of the Mew Altarts or even Gengar. Smeargle, Carvana, Clamp Pearl, Morpeko, Sky Armory, Trevenant Reverse, and a Swampert Hollow hit. So let's move to Brilly. Still missing some of the trainer gallery also that gold Arceus and every alt art though with the collection boxes sometimes getting a trainer gallery hit is pretty hard got the Roseanne's back up still don't have you in full art Axu, Bald Toy, Jimjar, Cast Form, Golette we have an Eridos and a Manaphy non-hollow rare. So, pretty cool card. One of the lower trainer galleries, so a little bit of an easier pull. Three packs left of Brilliant Stars before we jump into Shining Fates, and I think we have eight packs of Shining Fates. Still hoping to pull. I believe there's also an Umbreon in the set, which we need to pull. It's been a while since I opened Shining Fates, and I haven't looked at the set list in a minute. Floatzel, Choice Belt, Vibrava, Carablast, Staryu, Burmy, Riolu, kicking away, Magmar, Clefable, and our hit is a Zarud V. So, so far, packs are two for two. And you know, since they were next to each other, they might have even came out of the same collection box. So those are pretty good odds. Hopefully I didn't mix them up and the next two are just dead. It's a little disappointing. The Lucario collection boxes only come with two Brilliant Stars. It's mostly Fusion Strike and One Chilling Rain. We've got our Psychic Energy up front. Staravia, Floatzel, Impidim, Shinx, Milkry, Purloin, Spiritomb, and a Monferno Reverse with the Mewtwo non hollow hit. So, our last Brilliant Stars pack. Code card. Ah, so nothing in the hit spot. Still can hope for the Trainer Gallery. And hopefully in about a month we'll have the pre-release boxes for Astral Radiance. They should be coming about mid-May. Cub Chew Reverse and a Heatran. Alright, so let's go into Shining Fates. This is the guy I don't want to see. I've got multiples of the Shining Toxtricities. Let's see how they do their code cards in that one. I'll go right. Of course, they have all their code cards as hits. 
starting off with a wash or water energy. We have a Dartrix, Floatzel, Ball Guy. Pretty useful card actually when you're trying to grab some quick balls. Coughing, Trampinch, Eevee Reverse, and a Luxray Hollow Hit. So for the day so far, we've gotten three hits. Four to the front. Let's at least get one shiny. Rotom, Rusted Sword, Tufant, Grookey, Buzel, Yanma, Trampinch, and a shiny Clobopus. I'm not 100% sure if we have this one yet. I'd have to check. We don't have the whole set completed, and we're missing a bunch of the lower ones, actually. Still a pretty nice hit. Sometimes those tear are weird, especially when you start getting into packs that are a bit older. I don't think Shining Fates has had a reprint. I know a bunch of stores got more ETBs, but I'm not sure if it was a reprint or if more boxes were just sent out finally. Starting off with our energy, Luxio, Team Yeltow, The Wacky, Morpeko, Eevee, Nicket. Gossiflor, Choodle, and a Bunnelby with a Celebi behind it. So our second shining hit for the day, I'm hoping, should begin the big hitter. This is actually pretty good. I've opened ETBs before and only gotten one shiny. So the fact that these came from collection boxes so far have been going pretty good. So if your store's got one of those Pikachu B collection boxes, maybe pick one up. So far been treating us pretty well. Cramorant, Tropius, Rotom, Trampinch, Snom cursing us again, Spinarak, Shinx, and a Hatterene. Now, I do know we have this one. We've pulled like five of him. So, a pretty common shining pull. Or maybe I'm just that lucky. So far, I think we are three for four packs. Though none of the bigger hits yet, like a GX... These code cards are sticking to the back of these cards. All right, we have our fighting energy. Rusted Sword, Rotom, Eldegoss, Nicket, Horsey, Snom, Morpeko, Cacnea, and we have a Toxel Shiny hit. I think we were missing the Toxel. In fact, I think the only duplicate we've gotten so far today has been the Hatterene. Hmm. What would you prefer? A bunch of non-hitting packs with a big one, one of the GXs or VMAXs? Or would you prefer to get a Shining in every single pack, but it is the lower one? I think I might prefer just getting one in every pack so I can complete the collection finally. Ball Guy, Spinarak, Shinx, Coughing, Horsey, Grookey, and a Thwacky with a Hollow Thievil behind him. Pretty awesome so far. We have two packs left. Show us the Charizard. I forget if it's the fat Charizard or if it's the dark Charizard that's in this set. And the cards are just falling away from me. Code card for you. Well, 
some of the cards might be upside down. Starting off with our fire fighting energy, Eldegoss, Tropius, we have Ball Guy, Qfon upside down, Grookey. Oh, I see something shiny. I don't know if it's in the shiny slot or not, though. We have a Corviknight in the shiny slot, and behind it is the Crobat V. So a two for one. And we have definitely been hitting the Shining Vault pretty good today. And of course at the end we'll show off all the hits today. Last pack. Can we get the last pack magic? Some would argue every single one of these packs has been magic, but I want one of the bigger hits from the Shining Bolt. I want to finally see that Charizard. Floatzel, Team Yeltal, Trampich, Snom, Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx. Not in this one, but behind it, another Crobat V. All right, pretty good hits. So, as far as hits to gate today go, from Shining Fates, we got the two Crobats. From the Shining Vault, we managed to pull the Corvin Knight, Thwacky, Toxel, Hatterene, Bunnelby, and a Clobopus. From our packs from the like uh not the lichen rock the lucario collection boxes we managed to get a zarud v an Eridos, an inteleon v and of course the galarian articuno v so pretty awesome for four collection boxes today let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite card that we pulled today and make sure if you like what you see you like and subscribe we'll see you in the next one